However, here's the key bit. How, was, how did you feel that the PB handled against an XL? Uh, well, they're not chalk and cheese. It's either <laughs> cheese and cheese or chalk and chalk. chalk. Right, good morning everybody. Try and get the sun out of shots so you can actually see. Um, this video is not quite the same as what I've done before and I actually just wanted to go somewhere nice just to chill out, land somewhere, get some food and fly back. So you'll probably guess where I'm going in a minute. But other than that, so it's a lovely, lovely flyable day. And I just want to show what aircraft are actually out today. We've got two flex wings over there. We've got Simon and Alan. They're going off to uh, do the Lady Bower run because Simon's not been before. He's taking his son. Uh, so that's interesting to see. We've got Bernard over here. Uh, been, uh, he's been around forever and uh, quite a very, very experienced hang glider and um, single seat pilot. And then we've got Shelley, who's going to be on Delta Zulu teaching people today. And because it's my day off, I'm going flying for me in the PV. So I'm going to go off and get some food. So stick with me because you've asked for questions. I've got a load of questions that we're going to put in flight while I'm on the transit over there. And then you'll see where I'm going to land at the end. So stick with the video and join you in a minute. Dynamo traffic, Gold Fox, Draw, Whisker, Lima, Romeo, requesting radio check on 135480. Uh, Golf Oscar India reading. <laughs> Golf Lima Romeo to Golf Oscar India, readability 5, how me? Readability 5 also. Golf Oscar India, Golf Lima Romeo, uh, runway 19. Yeah. Let's go for runway 19. Slight addition to the journey, which is going to be great, is Brendan. Now, for those that don't know Brendan, if you haven't found the micro maintenance channel Wingnuts, Brendan features quite heavily in that. He's an amazing engineer, an amazing pilot, and has been all around Europe in that XL. And uh, today is we have been trying to fly with Brendan for years, and uh, today is quite a cool day for me to actually fly with him. And he's we are going to Dairy House Farm for lunch. And uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see the difference between the XL, which Brendan's got, which is a completely different generation. It's an XLR because it's got the bigger tank. Um, yeah, to see the difference in performance between the generation of when that was built 20 odd years ago and what the, uh, the PB Golf is now. Grinia, Golf Lima Romeo. Happy to roll that, Bravo. Uh -huh. Golf Oscar India from Golf Lima Romeo. Yeah, happy to roll from Bravo. Do that. Uh, Trim, don't have one. So, yay! Excited. <laughs> it's always good to fly with people. I was going to go there on my own today, but when uh, Brendan pitched up, and I was like, where are you going? I said, because I'm going here for a pie. And he was like, let's do it. So he's just doing his final checks. Golf India, Golf Lima Romeo, ready to roll? Golf Oscar India from Golf Lima Romeo, happy behind you, all checks complete my end. I'll follow you out. Okay, on neutral, I'm happy. Full power. I've had to reset my UDI recently and I got a bit of a surprise when I was seeing 56 into wind, but that's actually <laughs> kilometres an hour. Golf of Green Air, Golf Whiskey Romeo, change to 129835. Yeah. Golf Oscar India for Golf Lima Romeo, switching to 129835. Roger that. Golf Oscar India for Golf Lima Romeo, how do I read over? Reading 5. Reading five. Five's also makes a difference, doesn't it? So, as I said, and as I have done before, I like to give you a bit of a tease when we're on a bit of a cross country. Um, I'm going to enjoy flying with Brendan today, uh, but what I will do is, if you uh, stick with me while we're on a bit of a transit, and I will pose three or four questions um, from the flight briefing room. Let's say, the answers will be in the description. I will make sure the answers are correct. There's no point putting questions out if I don't know the answers. Um, but equally so, 
it's just a bit of fun. It's a bit of a tease. Um, I think I put it out in one of the Instagram posts I put out. If you don't know what my Instagram channel is, it's here on the screen. Um, and I try and put as many updates as I can on there. Uh, but the main thing is just have a bit of fun and a bit of learning. That's what the channel's all about. Education, information, um, and enjoying the journey that I go on. So, um, so here's the questions throughout the... Uh, so here's the first question throughout the journey. And I will space them out, so don't think you're going to get them all at once. And uh, hopefully I'll rejoin you as we're getting towards Dairy House Farm for a pie. I've actually told someone, I've already got a shopping list of everyone that wants to actually have bits from the pie shop. I'm like, I'm hoping I've got enough space in the back to bring them all back. So, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the questions and I'll leave you with the wingtip cow. Hello! Uh, for the rest of the room while I have a joyful flight with Brendan. See you in a bit, everyone. So everyone, here are the questions as promised, and here's the first question. What is an agonic or isogonal line? What is an agonic or isogonal line? Okay. So if you're not sure on the answers, they are in the description. But to say, don't go there straight away, have a go yourself, and actually right at the end, see how many you got right. So anyway, jump back into the video. Question number two, you may see in the Met reports, the letters CAVOK, C-A-V-O-K. What does that actually mean? What are the meteorological parameters of height and distance for this? And can you get cloud under CAVOK? And again, back to the video. the letters CTA and CTR stand for? Okay, break down the letters. What does CTA and CTR stand for? And if you're taking off, which one comes first? Have a bit of a two-parter there. So again, a bit more of the journey and then be ready for the last question. Question number four. There is two terms for time reference. One is GMT, which stands for Greenwich Mean Time and starts on the Greenwich Meridian. But we also have a time definition called UTC. What does UTC actually mean? And why is it different from GMT? That wraps up the questions and you will now join Brendan and myself as we uh, head towards Dairy House Farm and then go for some nice food at the local pie shop. Welcome back, we're just south of Crewe, around Nantwich Way. A visual with the field on the radio call. Brendan's behind me now. And it's been quite interesting actually on route that our speeds are very similar. Very, very similar. Uh, give or take a mile an hour, which is quite nice considering the generation gap between the two. Um, and it's been just so nice. Stuck the music on while we're travelling along, enjoying my music. And uh, we're just going for a straight in for base leg joint for Dairy House. As you can see the field now, I can see two aircraft on the ground. It's been a little bit thermic, but nothing too untoward. Just let the aircraft do the work. Did a quick PPR call to Lee. Lee's one of the other instructors that's operating from here at the minute, just to confirm which way they're operating. And they're operating on runway 30, which is great, because it's straight up the hill. Gonna get down to 700 feet. Give me a good look out for anyone flying downwind. 
done all my checks. Still need to come down another 300 feet. Dairy House traffic, Golf, Fox Roll, Whisker, Lima, Romeo, base leg for runway 30, Dairy House. Dairy House traffic, Golf, Fox Roll, Lima, number two, base leg. Yes, I know I'm in the rear space. Visibility day is fantastic. See for miles. It's lovely. Slight crosswind from the right. Right, all landing checks complete. Dairy House traffic, Golf, Lima, Romeo, final runway 30, Dairy House. Dairy House traffic, Golf, Romeo, final number two. Come on, come down. Please come down. Please come down. Lovely. Let's get out of the way for Brendan. Why can I smell Chinese? Maybe it's because I'm hungry. Get myself out of the way. Let's make a quick snapshot of Brendan. Yeah, it's pretty much an hour. Coffee, cool, Romeo, thank you. <laughs> oh. My pleasure. So, was it worth the flight? It's like when you go into a restaurant that someone always asks you a question just as you take a bite mm. of food. So I've just done that, haven't I? You have. <laughs> and I took a bite of the a little too soon. A little too soon. So it's burnt my lip. <laughs> oh no! It's like being on holiday, Giles. Is it? Absolutely like being on holiday. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Not bad yeah. for a day off during well, the week. Sit in the shade as well. It's so warm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Was it worth the flight over? Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely pie shop. Pies. You can tell so many people pastries. fly in. Yeah. So what did you Treats. go for? Cheese, leek and ham. And I went for a ham and cheese toasty mm. with red sauce. Red sauce as well? Red sauce as well. And uh, and blags out. And I say, I don't, I don't know which side it's going to record. Uh, but so we've got Lee, a uh, Cornish pasty. And Alan wanted a minted lamb. Hi. Wow. And I treated myself as well. Millionaire shortbread. Oh, is that, so they're going in the panniers? Right, the top box. <laughs> or they might be consumed before I get back. So, oh. uh, yeah. But I don't know whether they can see it on the outside. <sighs> That's the pie shop. Anyway, we're going to enjoy let's, our let's food. Open it up to cool down. Let's open it up. Right. So we're going to enjoy our food and uh, I will join you back at the airfield. Mm. Oh. How was lunch? Lovely. <laughs> I'm so full. And as you can probably see, I've got the prerequisite orders to go back with me as well. So I need to find space in that top box for these. You know I'm going to need an extra 100 metres. What, to take off? Yeah. <laughs> Was it worth it then? Oh, very much, yeah. yeah. Lovely, pasty, so, uh, cherry. It's like, over. are you all right? It's like being on holiday, it's isn't it? It's on holiday, we're on holiday today, definitely. I'm on holiday. Sun so, shining. So we've... Uh, different environment. You know, so we've stuffed our faces a little bit and we're now walking back. We're going to have a chill out and then get the aircraft ready to fly back. Finish drinking the got, PG. Got the PG and um, fancy a barbecue. So we fly uh, to a fly in? flying this afternoon. Yeah, where? Um, anywhere where there's a barbecue and a fly in. So we're at Darley Moor. Is there one at Darley Moor? Should we go back? I'd like to go to Darley Moor. <laughs> so we're off back to Darley Moor. There's a barbecue there yeah, tonight. Yeah, Yep, bonkers. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, wrap this up soon. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> so it's still a good mic, isn't it? It is a good mic, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So 
Yes. <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. <laughs> so you'd have seen me do the intro from the video here and I said I was going to fly to Fisherwick. Oh, then it transposed God. that you wanted to go in somewhere and I enticed you for, a, for some lunch. Okay. So, so we had a really cool flight today, didn't we? Very cool flight. Um, Giles took me on a holiday. So <laughs> it was lovely. We had a lovely holiday. We headed west. We headed west. We headed west on a holiday. Yeah. And, so uh, if, you, if you missed the route in the beginning of the video, here's the route we took over the top of Stoke. We went south of Crewe, didn't we? North of Nantwich and then in on base for runway 33. We did. Uh, yeah. And then we skirted out. Yes, yeah. um, took off and avoided the uh, things we should avoid. We did indeed. Now apparently, you, do you know a chap called Nick Buckley? Uh, Ken Buckley. Yeah, there's a Nick Buckley who All spotted right. us and I've got a picture of him on screen now of us oh. flying out and apparently we were noisy. So, we were noisy? Yeah, So, oh, but we weren't, we weren't that powerful. So anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks Nick for the picture, much appreciated. <laughs> but we had a really no, good lunch there. Great it's, time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it really felt like a holiday. Yeah. Nice day out. Yeah. And, and it doesn't feel like the weather we've had for the past three, four, five months. It just feels like we literally were enjoying the sunshine. Mm. So uh, we, uh, It wasn't straight and level. It wasn't straight and level. But, uh, yeah, yeah, not much drift though, was there? It However, was... here's the key bit. How, was, how did you feel that the PB handled against an XL? Uh, well, they're not chalk and cheese. It's <laughs> either cheese and cheese or <laughs> chalk and chalk. chalk. Yeah. So, uh, I did use a little bit more power on the way back. Did you? Yeah. Oh, right. To, uh, to keep up with you. Oh, okay. So, uh, anyway. But no, very, very similar, aren't they? Indeed, yeah. indeed. So after that, that gives you all the information. I hope you enjoyed the questions that I will, uh, I will put in the video. Um, answers will be in the description, but hopefully that will help you out with a bit more use useful or useless information. But other than that, we'll wrap this up here. Until next time, everybody, fly safe.